Right, so how's it going guys? My name is Kariko. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel here today, guys. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, today I'm going to be showing you my highest ever streak in Call of Duty history. But before we get started, guys, if you guys could subscribe to the channel because we are trying to get 60 subscribers by the end of this month. So if you guys could actually make that happen, that would be awesome. We only need five more subs. So, you know, each sub like really does count a lot. And so leave a like. And yeah, I guess with that being said, let's get into it. So at the time that I was recording this gameplay, I was actually really, really lucky because I proceeded not long ago. Therefore, I never had a lot of things unlocked. But for the score streaks, what I did have unlocked is the UAV talent and wraps. So um, like as there weren't any other good streaks, I picked those three and then they helped me out so much in the actual game to gain my streak because without them, I don't think if I would have even had a motivation to actually do it because, you know, they kind of kept me going. Like if I had wraps, then I can, you know, um, when it said like 600 points for that, I would just like try not to die and try to get those kills. But then actually at the end, when I actually did get the talent, I was like, yeah, let's go for the wraps. Then once I did get the wraps, I was like, yeah, damn, uh, that's really good. But then I was kind of like a, a way to go ahead and rush. But then I thought, damn, why not go for a nuclear weapon? I'm like 17 kills in. I only need 13 more. So I was like, yeah, let's go. And in the actual initial gameplay, I think I went on a, like a 26 kill streak. But actually, surprisingly, when I actually did die, as you will see in a couple of minutes, I wasn't actually really angry whatsoever. I was actually very, very pleased that I actually went on this high streak. I thought that it would be mean angry because, you know, like, I only needed, like, four more kills to get a nuclear, but, yeah, I unfortunately did not get it. So, the gun that I was using, as you can already tell, was the Peacekeeper, and I was doing it because I knew that almost every single time that I used the Peacekeeper, I do good. Uh, if you actually watched my... I think it was like 40 plus TDM gameplay on this channel um then you have knew that like, you know the peacekeeper just shreds for me as probably for everyone else that actually d does own it um yeah it absolutely shreds it is an amazing gun but like you know even though you have scavenger sometimes you do run into the problem that you run out of ammo um so if you i think i think yeah i think it's by this point i do have the cuda if i don't i will in a second um yeah i ran out of ammo for the peacekeeper i picked up like a random cuda class and my god i thought it was gonna be really really bad but actually in the end it turned out to be freaking amazing it was shredding people if like like i was really really lucky to actually pick up this class because it was amazing after actually after that i went ahead and actually made that cuda class setup as well i think i would just grip fmg and long barrel and i thought it's gonna be bad but it was like absolutely amazing um and guys yes like that would be pretty much it 26 kill streak four more kills i needed to get a nuclear if i would have got a nuclear that would mean absolutely awesome but i didn't get it uh, yeah unfortunately um but yeah i guess that this will be it my name is getting up hope we have an amazing day um, and also, let me know in the comment section down below if you actually ever got a nuclear in any Call of Duty. So yeah, with that being said, see you later, leave a like, subscribe, see you, peace.